Hello friends, this is Rahul Singh. So today we'll discuss how to create custom parser in RSA Net Witness log sources. So in most of the cases, if you have any custom application, any any new device uh, for which RSA Net Witness does not have uh, inbuilt parser, so in that case you need to create a custom parser for that log source, event source. So today I will tell you how to create custom parser. So before creating you need a log parser tool uh, in which you can create custom parser so i have a, a log parser tool installed in my laptop so once you just open your log parser tool the interface will appear like this and uh, you have to click on the create a new parser okay now here you have to define uh, device type before uh, uh, giving in device type i will show you for what you i am going to create parser so, okay so let me go to yes parser so i have one antivirus logs this is the antivirus log i don't have the uh, parser in rsa net witness so i will create one custom parser and uh, i have one dhcp logs so i don't have any parser in rsa net witness for dhcp for this particular dhcp log so i will create one custom parser okay so we'll start with antivirus log okay uh, okay so here i will give name suppose you are using uh, uh, for example trend micro trend micro av or any custom AV that you have so I have given trend micro AV name so you can use semantic you can use sentinel one so anyone that depends on your requirement your application you give the name that in device type okay that will that name will appear in the device type meta key okay now we have to give display name display name will be automatically copied from device type name now we have to give device class you have to choose device class from drop down so this will be the antivirus okay now here the device location your parser will be created but i will change it uh, to uh, another folder so it's not opening i don't know why okay so so let it by default it's not opening not so you can change the name and path here so it will be okay so i'm leaving it as default now i'll click on the uh, create okay so you will see the interface like this now you have to import your log log file so click on this uh, folder icon it will prompt you the file system so okay so i will go to my desktop i have kept that in desktop i will choose the antivirus log okay this is the log okay so before creating parser let me tell you some basic things uh, the parser contains two part one is header another is message okay so header is something which is uh, which identify the logs yeah uniquely identify the logs yes this logs is coming from in your trend trend micro antivirus so the header will be matched head so your net witness will match the head header with the incoming logs <coughs> if the header is matches then it will automatically tag this parser to that for that uh, log so header should be something which common in all the logs so that it can be uniquely identify yes this logs is coming from antivirus this is coming from uh, your firewall parallel to firewall cisco firewall so you need to define header that header will uniquely identify the logs 
okay so first we will define header header will be act as a message id okay now we, we have to identify which is the common parameter okay so that uh, that should be present in all the logs or maybe in most of the logs so here i can see the one this one is present in all the logs okay so whenever this kind of logs comes this value this one will be matches with header then rsa net witness will identify yes this is coming from our trend micro antivirus so i will create this one i will keep this one as a header okay just i will highlight this double click or just you highlight this uh, one and click on the create header okay so the header is created now the rest of the part here from here to here from here to here it will be payload okay so this will be the payload here in the above just click on the any field uh, here before 2019 and right click here and set as payload okay now you have defined header and payload now click on create message okay so here you can see the header defined 55 okay means the header is already defined so no any event which is blank which is not defined all the events are defined okay but here showing completely defined is one means on till now we have only i uh, we have only uh, defined header we we haven't parsed any logs now we will parse logs we will map meta keys okay so how to do this let's move so this value is displaying here now we have to map so so before creating parser you must have knowledge of that particular log you must have an idea what the fields in the logs is saying what is the meaning of the that particular event uh, that field in the logs suppose uh, for example so this is looks like time okay so just highlight till here and right click here and create variable okay so i will give map it with the time just so you will automatically see some meta keys whenever you type it will automatically prompt some meta keys so you can choose from drop down so i will double click on time yes so that will be so that will be that will be mapped this value is mapped with time meta key okay now md0031 ic icspo3 okay now you have to you must have knowledge about what the meaning of this field okay so as far my understanding this is must be some host so i will give host id so i will give host id okay now this is root it is something like a user okay so but random but but in your environment you just be a specific what is the meaning exact meaning of that field so i'm just giving user okay rule and this is something id i will give it i will map it to the some id okay now here we can see health monitoring cron trimmed event history to 30 days so i think uh, you can map it as message because this is not an important field i think so from till here you can map it to message this value will come under message okay now here we can see out of 56 19 events has been passed successfully see similar kind of events has been passed 
okay but still we have 37 37 event need to be passed okay so we will go to which event is not passed in this one so i will click here now create message again i have to map it with time right click and just type time it will here okay now again the same thing host so you have to define the same name you have to assign same meta key in the, all the logs because here above we have assigned host id so also you assign host id otherwise it will be mismatch and the same value will be passed under two meta keys if you do not define the same meta key okay so this will be sorry this will be user okay user this will be id okay now this is a scan alert so so this is showing something what kind of event what kind of alert it is so scan alert so so we can give event category okay so we can give event category but you can define anything according to your requirement just i have given event category so now this is infected so i can give ec activity uh, ec subject okay ec subject is infected now this is device name i think okay so i will give device yeah device meta is available choose device now this is product id we can choose id one okay because id is already chosen in here id now he can choose id one now vendor id vendor id vendor id you can choose vendor id okay now this is serial number so we right click and define serial number okay this value is mapped and serial number this is uuid so select this and define as uuid okay this is label so it is something like related to location so i will just try assign it to location meta key so location source okay now this is the file system so vf80 is a file system name so i will assign file system yes file system meta key is available i will choose file system meta key assign it now malware found so after a scan the device the alert is saying that malware has been found okay so this will be outcome so i will assign it to ec outcome okay now this is the file name eicar.com so file name here is the file name is available file name okay now malware name this is the malware name so i can define it as a virus name okay virus name meta key is available so you just assign now this is sh1 hash value in arsenet witness hash is identified as checksum okay just assign checksum okay uh, this is action quarantined so i will give action what action happened okay 
this is the path okay so I can give direct name as directory okay so now out of 56 33 is completely defined means 33 has been defined you can see everything is looking perfect yes passed now which is not defined yet so we will define that one okay so this one is not defined so click here and create create message okay again the same thing that this will this is a common yeah so this will be time okay why we have to define uh, because this event uh, this event is little bit different between the other that uh, we have defined earlier so if there is a different type of event we need to create different parsing logic for that so this is a different event that's why so we have till now created three to create it two parsing logic now we are creating third means there are three different type of logs so create variable so host id i can give user here again id so here i am mapping the meta keys with the fields according to my knowledge but in your environment you must aware about each and every field and assign correct meta key the meaningful meta key okay so scan complete event category okay okay now this is device device this is id1 we can define id1 this is product id product ID again this is serial number okay now scan verdict infection found and quarantined successfully so here we choose the entire page easy outcome and device not usable so we can keep it as default otherwise device status we can define this one AC status or something is available or not nothing okay so we can give is it team okay we can leave it as it is a scan till it is not important okay now again this is not defined i will choose and create message now just select all this field till here now right click then type time it will auto automatically give you drop down and time now select all these this will be host id host id 
now this will be user this will be id okay scan statistic right click ec activity ec sub ec, ec subject okay ec subject now this is device device okay this is id1 okay this is product id product id is available choose the product id now this is serial number okay serial number now this is total file scan so total scanned yes on metac is available called total scan now this is total infected file total infected is available yes map it now total whitelisted total whitelisted is not here yeah whitelisted is here total retained total retained total cleaned type total total clean the top total clean error so total error okay yes so we have completely defined 53 out of 56 now still three event is left let me see which one is this one is left okay this is something different so let's see what is that okay so this is something different okay so just again this is the common part define time select all this field till here now define time okay now this is host id now so from here this is not matching so what i can do just you can define in the message okay oh, sorry to select all control a now define message yes okay so we have completely defined 56 all event 56 completely defined 56 means all the event is successfully passed okay you can see each and every event is okay now how to export the parser click on the action just export parser where you want to export parser i will choose the same file parser okay here i want to export okay now i will go to the desktop and desktop in my parser folder see there is the parser the parser extension is dot envision okay so this will be your parser now you have to upload in your rsn witness so i will tell you how to upload the parser but before i will show you another example of okay so i will just delete it okay now i will create another parser 
give name DHCP okay here I will choose uh, system okay now create parser the folder you have selected already has parser with the same name okay just I will change the location I will choose this select folder now create parser yes now click on the folder icon go to the desktop desktop and the parser so DHCP log open yes so we have 38 logs now again we have to define some header okay the header will uniquely identify the logs incoming logs and it will tag to the parser okay so we have given the parser name is DHCP now I can see the original address original address in the beginning of the each and every event there is this so this is a common in all so I can define original event as a original address as a header so but in my case I will choose only original as a header just highlight it and click on create header okay and the rest of the part I will choose as payload so I will click right click and will choose set as payload okay now here you can I can see you can see that 38 is completely defined okay header has been defined now we will define uh, the payload okay we'll, okay we'll create message just click on the create message okay now we'll start mapping fields so this is the address I so this will be you source IP so source IP is it is called as s adder okay how I'm I have given s adder because s adder is mapped with the ip.src you can see if you don't if you don't have idea about it so you can just go to the view now click on variables here you can see the original meta key and parser key okay now in the s adder there will be uh, let me go where it has gone so this is the adder okay this is the parser key this will appear at the time of time of mapping and the original meta key will be ip.src so, so in this way you can go through there as adder means source ip now this is the time okay just define the time map it to the time okay this is something host just I can give so again I'm telling you you must have the knowledge of the your uh, each and every field in the logs so that you can map correctly with meaningful meta keys I'm just giving you a demo how to do this so don't uh, copy my uh, mapping in your environment so dhcpd this is the i think this is the constant one so no need to define okay dhcpd 
DHCP request AC activity but here I we can see the host ID is mapping taken host name or time in one host ID so this is some bug in the parser tool but anyways I'm just showing you how to map the event how to create parser so here it is for IP D adder means destination address this is the MAC address we can define a MAC address as MAC now host IP okay you can just give assign the rest of the thing as a message okay here we can see out of 38 event 20 event has been passed okay now 18 is still pending so so this event is something different so I have to create another parsing logic for it just click on it and create a message okay again the first part is common so first s adder right click on it highlight and right click s adder and now highlight give time now this is host id now this is dhcp discover so ac activity this is this is from this mac address so mac address this is host ip okay now this is as message here we can see 35 event has been defined and only uh, three event is left now let's check which uh, which is left okay so this is left just create on it again map it to MAC address S adder now click right click and create variable as time ok this is again host id DHCP release is the activity of Mac source from IP host IP. Okay, from this Mac address, you can define as Mac. Okay, it's Mac address. We have seen 36 event has been passed, still two is left. Let me see which one is left this one is left okay so let's define this one is okay click on s adder now choose time okay now here host ID DHCP inform AC activity D adder and this will be device IP 
host IP. This will be host IP. Okay. Now still one event is left. This is little bit different. So again, I have to define a separate for it. Okay. So again, a adder. Assign it to time. Okay. This is host ID. DHCP acknowledgement, AC activity. Here, destination address. And this will be the MAC address. Okay. Yes, MAC address. Now, it TH0 will be interface. Okay. Interface. This is the interface. Now we can see the all the 38 event has been passed successfully. Okay. Now we will export that parser. Export parser. Where in desktop. In parser. Save. Okay. Now we'll go to the desktop parser folder so we have dhcp.invision parser okay now i will tell you how to upload this parser in your rsa net witness so let's go in the rsa net witness tab okay so let me log in admin okay So you have logged in your RSNet witness, go to the admin. So in the services, you have to choose log decoder. Yeah, this is our my log decoder. Click on the, this gear, gear icon, then view, then config. Okay. Now here, go to the parser, now click on the upload click plus icon now choose where you have kept your parser no so I will upload my art and micro AV parser okay just click on the upload yes your parser is uploaded just cross site once the parser is uploaded green will be green 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 signal will be displayed here just cross it here don't click on cancel just cross it here okay now you have to reload the parser other uh, or you can just restart the service so i will show you how to reload the parser uh, just click on the service log to cancel it so in general, uh, the if parser will be all the parser av available parser will be displayed here. So let's check our antivirus parser say trend micro trend micro micro AV trend micro AP parser is not available. Why? Because we need to reload. We need to re reload that parser. So we'll go to the explore. Okay now we go to decoder sorry just expand the decoder uh, right click on the parser properties now go to the down here you can see reload okay now click send okay the parser have been reloaded reloaded okay now we again go to the config now we will check trend micro trend micro av uh, it is not displaying so means i uh, i think this is something now so i have to restart the service okay i will restart the service so log recorder
I will pause the video till the service is restart then I will come so the I think service has been started so where is log record log record is here now again I will <coughs> go to the view config and uh, so let's check whether it is applied trend trend micro micro AB yes see so trend micro AB is <coughs> installed the parser has been installed and it is enabled so it is similar like trend micro AV this this file trend micro AV so similarly you can upload the parser in arsenic witness so so far we have learned how to create custom parser and how to do event mapping and uh, how to upload in arsenic witness so okay so we have completed our agenda for this video so thank you for watching. Bye.